Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Brown Callie. Thank you for all those new subscribers who decided to become part of the Callie crew. And if you haven't, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and don't forget the notification bell. Let's get into this video. So, we want to talk about the whole Gail King, Lisa Leslie interview, what people had to say about it, how people felt about it, and my two cents, of course, on the whole matter. I feel that the issue really started with Gail King and Oprah Winfrey way before the interview. I feel like it started when, I believe it was back in the summertime, they said that they don't call me auntie. They didn't like that term. And then Oprah goes on to put this big article about it in her magazine, which to me was doing too much. Like, okay. And now it's like, we agree. We, we're not going to call you auntie. We're not going to call you big sis. We're not going to call you any of that. You are not a part of the, the crew. Okay. So the issue people have, why everyone is mad at Gail. Because Gail doesn't seem to get it. Oprah doesn't seem to get it. The problem is not that you were doing your job and you were asking Lisa Leslie the questions. But that to me, she took it too far. When Lisa, you know, it, to me, Lisa had to, you know, finally say, we need to stop this. Because when, when she, she accused, she called him a rapist and stuff. And she was like, well, no, he went to court for that. Her rebuttal question, her rebuttal response to Lisa was, well, she didn't testify. So it got thrown out. She wouldn't testify. So that in effect, made it seem that you were saying or implying that the reason this woman didn't testify is because she was fearful of something, which in the situation, we have no idea because she didn't. It could have been that she didn't want to be cross-examined because there was several semen in her underwear and there was other questionable things about the case. So... We really don't know. We can only speculate as to why she did not want to testify in court. Now, that doesn't mean, but Gail presented all the questions as if he was already guilty. Not, and you went to this woman home and, and you put her on the defensive end where she had to defend her friend. People had a problem with that. Like, um, those were the issues that people had a problem with was your approach to the whole situation. Those were the, the problems that people had an issue with was your approach to the whole situation. Not that you were doing your job, not that you were asking questions. We felt that those questions were inappropriate and insensitive since Kobe Bryant had not even been laid to rest. When you decided to ask these type of questions that were defaming his character. And when those type of things happen, people automatically were offended. Like, why would you do this? Why would you, being the knowledgeable, intellectual female, black female, African American female, do that to someone of your own race. So we feel that there's a pattern with Gail and Oprah when it comes to black men and the way that they choose to depict them in the media for the public to see. That is the issue that black people have. You come off saying, don't call me auntie, as if to say, I'm not related to you because that is a term that black people use in reference to the, their elders, which you did not want to be referred to as that way. So you have already put a distance from yourself in your race, whether you realize it or not. And people were already feeling some type of way. 
But now we see why, because you really don't feel the way we do. I understand that you have to hang in certain circles to become on certain levels. You know, that that's great ways and opportunities to further your career, uh, advance yourself, uh, make more money. But at what expense? When does it stop? And being the intellectual individuals that you are, you should have known not to cross that line. So when the outrage from celebrities, well-known celebrities, male, black, African-American celebrities were demeaning and uh, derogatory because they, to me, um, they did cross the line also. I don't feel like you should have been called out your name. Um, I feel that they could have expressed their outrage they had without cursing you out. Uh, just like I am saying what I have to say without cursing you out, calling anyone out their name. I think you can get your point across without doing that. But that's how they chose to do it on their platforms. So that's, you know, to each his own. And I seen DL said something about if you feel that you didn't do anything wrong, that you did the interview correctly, why apologize? And I didn't feel that Gail apologized. I feel that she made excuses on what happened. I feel like she's like, oh, chop the screw. You know, they edited it that way. That's not the way it really went. That's not what really happened. Uh, you know, things were taken out of context. But when, even when you watch these reality shows, they always say, oh, they edited this, they edited that. But you had to give them something to edit. Something had to be there for them to put out to begin with. And that's what you did. You still... Ask the questions. Uh, and you should have owned it. You should have stood by it. You did what you wanted to do. That was your opportunity. I feel like you did it for ratings. So, you know, you knew what you want to ask. And you... I don't think you really... I don't know what you expected. I don't know what... I don't know why you would think that you would not receive the backlash you're receiving. Kobe Bryant was well-loved. Yes, some people did not love him, did not like him, felt ill will towards him, but there were millions of people who did. I don't agree with the death threats. Like, come on. She just asked some questions. Like, come on. Maybe that was insensitive, but it doesn't mean she needs to die. Like, you're being too extreme. Uh, and I don't think that that's what Kobe would want people to do Knowing the type of person he is, like, that's not what Kobe would want. Kobe wouldn't want nobody to kill her because she asked Lisa these type of questions. Like, but that's the other thing about being insensitive because people are emotional. People are still grieving. This is, it's a fresh wound. Like, you shouldn't have did it. And it's, it's a pattern with these two African-American women because we don't see it. We don't see them going after any other race. And that's the issue. And, and people are expressing how they feel about it because they feel like it's not that people don't do things that are questionable or that are wrong. It's everybody's doing it, but you're not painting a fair picture of everyone. You're only going after a certain race, which is your own race. And why is that? That's where the outrage and... Um, aggressive behavior is coming from. Like I said, I by all means, do I condone that type of behavior? Do I feel that just because she asked a question, she needs to be called out her name? I feel that that was inappropriate. You know, I feel like, yeah, you, you did cross the line in the interview, but I feel like Lisa Leslie... Should have cut the interview. She should have stopped it. You know, had it been me, I feel like if I have to keep defending someone, if I'm, you know, she handled it the way she felt appropriate, I would have handled it differently. I would have just stopped the interview. Like, enough. I'm done. Wrap. Get out. It's over. That's me. I'm not going to continue. Uh, Y'all won't have nothing to put out. 
you, you have to go in to find somebody else. You're not going to use me. Sorry about that. You're not going to use me to, no. I would have did that, that whole interview. They wouldn't have had nothing to use because I would have kicked everybody out. This interview's over. Good day. I said good day. And that was it. So that is my um, opinions about this whole situation concerning Gail and these celebrities and these death threats. Um, I feel like Oprah's response and the fact that she brought up Bill Cosby tweeting from jail just added fuel to the fire. Like, you could have made your point without saying Bill Cosby's name. Like, you still throwing black men under the bus. You're still doing it. Do you not know it? Do you not care? Because at this point, we're like, you're not stupid. We know you have degrees. You, you're intelligent. So we know that you're a very educated woman and you're picking your words very carefully and you know what you're doing. And that's why we're getting so pissed off about the whole situation because we know y'all know what you're doing. Don't sit up here and, and underestimate our intelligence as to think we don't know that you guys are so naive and so gullible and so misinformed that you didn't know you were going to be put out there like that. Because I'm quite sure that's not the first interview that got edited. This is the first time people said, enough, we're tired of the BS. Stop doing it because you've crossed the line. You know, it, other people, you know, people felt a certain way when Oprah did the whole Michael Jackson thing. Had the daughter suicidal. Come on, like, uh, everything is about money? How much money do you need? Aren't you a billionaire? Like, how? when is it enough? Like, we understand that you still have not talked to the other white, male, Jewish, whatever other nationalities you want to say. Men who have been accused of the same thing. Uh, or worse... For that matter, um, what's his name? Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, uh, two to say off the top of my head. I hope I said the name's right. If I didn't, you know what I mean. Uh, we're still wondering why not, why not them? They're just as huge celebrities. People love to find out what's going on behind that. People love to hear what these women have to say. You went after Russell, Oprah was going after, uh, Russell Simmons, like, this is the outrage. And for Oprah to come and do the little interview and get emotional about Gail receiving death threats, I felt like she was acting, me personally. Oprah's a very good actor. I don't believe that's the first time Gail ever received death threats. I think that everyone on television receives death threats at some point in time, especially... Um, being in the entertainment field, I don't think that was the first time. I think maybe on that magnitude, uh, and I'm not, I don't know how many people are starting to kill her, but uh, I don't think that's the first time she's covered something people may not have liked and said, I'm going to kill you or whatever. Um, I mean, if you're a celebrity, you should probably already have bodyguards. Like, why wouldn't you? I would. You got people on YouTube them being killed. So, definitely a celebrity. Definitely someone whose face is on national television, such as CBS. You would definitely want that. So, anyway, I'm going to end this video. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me how you feel about the situation. And until the next one, peace.